mid-January. Uh, we're sitting on a green field that's, uh, I don't know, probably two, three hundred yards off the property line, and, but the main gate to the property in the road runs right by here, so we always, you know, we're just a little apprehensive about setting up here, but when we leave at night, we've been seeing uh, the bucks and a lot of does here, so when the ruts kicked off pretty good, and uh, we came in here at lunchtime and set up this tripod. It was real easy to set up, and uh, we got a, a good wind for it. Um, you see, it's about 3.30, and uh, so we're just going to see what happens here. Well, it's about 4.30. One doe finally showed up. I figured it's going to be pretty late anyhow with these deer. With all this traffic going by, but hopefully something's behind her. A short while later, a young buck appears at the edge of the field. With plenty of daylight left, Elliot passes on the opportunity. Later that afternoon, as daylight begins to fade, Elliot spots a nice buck at the edge of the field. field and these does still had us pinned down and finally Mark got on him and I don't know he was looking down here toward them and uh, I just had to go ahead and take the shot before these does busted and he hauled, hauled off so uh, anyhow I'm gonna get out and reload and see if, see if we can go find him. This guy I had no idea, no idea. I mean look at this guy. When we first looked at him all I could see him was just straight on like this, but I mean, this guy's beams are like unreal here. Look at that. I, mean, I, ain't, I don't have a clue how long they are, but they, I mean, hey, that's something else. Well, we were sitting in the sky pod this afternoon and we had two uh, phones come up and they fed, I don't know, 10 feet from us at one time and just had us pinned down. Mark couldn't get any footage of them and then, uh, from the way he was turned and we had a nine point come out on the far end of the field in there about 175 yards just fed out and he was coming toward those does and everything and I I decided to pass on him and uh, he left and uh, I guess about 10 after 5 this guy steps out and I could see him Mark couldn't get on him and everything there was a big limb and everything in, in his way but finally Mark got on him and uh, I put that old Thompson on him, and uh, he didn't he didn't go far at all. But man, well, look what a deer! I mean, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, I don't know if we'll count that as nine, but ten. But uh, man, that's a heck of an Alabama buck right there. And uh, I'm gonna have to go get some help because this guy's big and it's thick in here. But uh, man, what a great hunt this afternoon. <laughs> 